All right, since we last spoke, I did clean up the engine a little bit, just a little bit, because there was some dirt on the engine and I didn't want to deal with the dirt when I was putting back together, so I cleaned it off a little bit. I also went over the shield again because I noticed when I, when I came out this morning, there was still some dirt on the shield, so I went ahead and got that dirt off. I just went over it again. Everything else is exactly the same. I didn't do anything else. Oh, you know what I did do? I went over the gas tank too. I did the gas tank because, I mean, that was dirty and I needed to. So, today is paint day. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down somewhere where there's no buildings or cars or any civilization. I have a uh, one of those square bins. It's a big one. And I flip it upside down and I paint on top of it. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do all the black ones first and then just go ahead and let those dry. So I'm going to start taking stuff down there now. Okay, so this is my little paint bucket here. This has been heavily used. They have a lot of layers of paint on it yet. But basically I'm just going to lay all the pieces out, put a coat over them, wait a little bit and then flip them around and then do it again. And I'm going to be using my Rust-Oleum Paint and Primer Plastic Paint. I love this paint because it's plastic and it works very well on it. Okay, that's it for the black. I'm going to uh, go ahead and wait a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and flip them around and do the next coat. All right, I'm pretty sure I nailed that one because I am next to out of this uh, can of paint and I just finished painting all that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna put it over in the corner and then I'm gonna go grab the gray stuff. And I'm almost out of gray paint too, so I'm gonna have to clutch that one. Okay, so now all these pieces are somewhat dry. They're a little tacky, but they're dry enough where I can uh, pick them up without putting fingerprints on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these pieces to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the gray pieces. Okay, so here's what I did. I basically took some masking tape and I went over the uh, stickers on the uh, main panel here so that when I paint, I could just take the stickers off or the tape and the stickers will still be exposed. Now, I did this very, very precisely. That's one thing you got to be careful of. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the uh, gray pieces now. All right, I just ran out of paint. I gotta go get some more. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm just going to paint the orange because uh, I uh, used all the gray paint. So I have this, uh, the same stuff as the black. It's just the Rust-Oleum 2X plastic paint. And I'm just gonna go over all the stuff. The reason I'm not using um, like the exact color is because one, I don't have the patience and time to find the exact color. And two, it's gonna be way more expensive. And three, it looks good. 
Ask me how I know. Coat number two. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip all these orange pieces over and paint the, uh, the, the top of all these pieces. Okay, I'll be back in about 15 to do another coat. All right, all the pieces are done except for the gray ones. I need a little bit extra paint for some of the gray pieces. But the pieces I have done and the pieces I don't have done, really, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take them back up and get them ready to assemble. Uh, the ones that are not fully painted, I'm going to put those aside for now and find some paint and paint them later. All right, I'm back. I cleaned and painted all the black, all the orange, and all the gray. I wiped down the gas tank, I wiped down the engine, and I got everything pretty much ready to assemble the only thing that i have left to do yet is that shaft back there is really dirty and disgusting so what i'm going to do with that is i'm going to take my sudsy stuff and i'm just going to go ahead and clean along the shaft and then i'm going to take a wire wheel wire wheel the shaft and then work my way down the sand sandpaper grit start at uh let's say 600 and then go a thousand 1500 3000 and then 6000 and 10,000. So that's going to be a long process that you're going to watch me uh, do with the time lapse. So let's get to it. Okay, I decided to move away from all obstructions. And the only place I could think of doing that is sidewalk. Uh, I just don't want to hit anything. So I just moved a little bit. So I'm just going to wipe it down with uh, soapy water. And then I'm going to use my wire wheel and wire wheel it. I am going to remove that sticker because that sticker is in quite bad shape and I don't really want to touch it. So I think it'll just look better without the sticker. So I'm just going to take them off. I think it'll look better. I'm just going to go straight to the wire wheel because I think the wire wheel will take most of that dirt off of there anyway. So I'm just going to do that.
Okay, I'm done with the wire wheel now. I'm gonna move on to, oh, I don't know, maybe 600 grit sandpaper, 400 grit, something in that region. And I'm gonna sand down the whole thing by hand. The reason I'm gonna do it by hand is because if I, if I do it with a tool, it's gonna make marks on the uh, the shaft. They're just way too aggressive. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it by hand. Yeah, it's work, but <laughs> I mean, restoring a trimmer's work, right? So let's get to it. Okay, I found some 400, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to use this 400. Okay, I'm done with the 400. Now my goal is to double the uh, grit of sandpaper, so double the, the uh, amount of fineness if you wanna. But I don't have any 800 grit sandpaper. The next closest thing I have is 1,000, so I'm just gonna go straight to 1,000. Okay, so next up is 2,000, but I don't have 2,000, so I'm just going to use 3,000. It's the next closest thing, and it'll be a little finer. I don't think I need the 2,000. I think 3,000 will work just fine. All right, next I'm gonna do 5,000 because that's the closest I have to 6,000. Seven thousand is the uh, finest grit I have, so I'm just gonna finish off the shaft with uh, seven thousand and see how it looks then.
Okay, everything's cleaned, everything's painted, everything's sanded. I did the um, the shaft. I cleaned off the end of the shaft. I'm not going to touch the um, the drive shaft. I'm not going to touch that because, again, no one's going to see that unless you take it apart. So, that just about leaves it for me here. I'm going to uh, sign off for now, and in the next one, I'll come back and uh, assemble this and get everything looking like a weed whacker again. All right, until then, I'll see you on the next one.